Hi, this is Emily Zlaney with TV Guide Magazine and TVInsider.com, and I'm sitting here with Lilia Scarlett Reed, Lily Kay, and Sarah Mezzanote uh, from Chambers. This show is about a girl who gets a heart transplant, and it's super creepy. Weird yeah. things happen mm -hmm. to her. The three of you are on the nicer side of the street mm. from that, um, except for maybe <laughs> Lilia, yeah. who is not alive. <laughs> you want to explain that a little bit for us? Tell me about Becky. Okay. Um, Becky died from a tragic freak accident. Um, and basically, Sasha, Yazi, she has a heart attack. And she gets the heart transplant. And it's my heart from when I died. So uh, she starts to acquire certain qualities that I had and things start to creep up on her and there's this kind of presence that wasn't there before. Becky is, Becky's not evil, but something is. What did you think when you first read the script? Were you like freaked out to like be playing someone who was like already dead? Like what was the first thought that ran through your head? Uh, I loved the script. I thought it was really interesting. It's very Laura Palmer-esque, the role. Definitely. So I was really into that. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought I approached it as I would like any other character really. Um, but it was a little bit, because you're bringing a, a dead girl to life, and that was kind of, like, the interesting part of it. Now, <laughs> Lily. Yes. I don't want to spoil too much yes. about what goes on with Penelope, because yeah. she's a little bit of an interesting character. Um, yeah. But what can you tell us? She's one of those that it's hard to say a lot about without spoiling a lot. Um, but I think, I mean, she was Becky's childhood best friend. They grew up next door to each other. Um there was like she has a, a lot of love for Becky and that relationship was a really formative and, and fundamental one for her. So that's a huge loss for her. I, I love her a lot because I think she's a very resilient person at such a young age. I think she's been through a lot of trauma um, without a lot of support from the people around her um, and has sort of been stranded. And I think that's part of why she uh, connects with or latches onto Sasha is because she sees this strength that I think she has but also wants to have um that sasha just inherently possesses now tell me a little bit more about um marnie yeah um, so she is kind of the first one who meets sasha when she yes, gets to school yes right? yes um marnie believes that she was becky's best friend and um she was not only very close to Becky, but her family is cl was close to Becky's family. So it was a huge loss for the community. But um, I think when Sasha comes to the school, then Marnie is put in charge or volunteers, we don't know which, <laughs> to, uh, to take Sasha under her wing and, and show her around the school and help her to get acclimated. For me, it was interesting to get to play someone who is getting to know a girl who is kind of taking the spot of your dead best friend and right. what that is and and is there a little bit of resentment is there any competition um but also is there love and is there d the desire to protect um but yeah i think marnie at a first glance does seem just like the high school queen bee me <laughs> trying to humanize her i'm like she's so she's nice <laughs> no no i think i think um she's always trying to be top of her class and and um, best on the fencing team and so um, I don't know that she's thrilled to have a newcomer come in who um, upturns everything. Would you guys actually, are you guys into horror or would is this something that you would totally skip if it was on like your Netflix queue? I like I like <laughs> horror a lot. Silence of the Lambs is like my favorite oh. movie. I have to say that I was, I am very scared of horror. Um, initially I was, I, I was sort of I don't know. It was it was a weird thing because doing it was not scary. Yeah. Watching it very scary. Yeah. yeah. Um. And I I've started uh, building building up to it. Like I made it through Hill House. <laughs> I made it through. I'm do I'm gradually getting better. And I love Silence of the Lambs. I love I love um, psychological yeah. stuff, right. which I think we have a lot of really yummy stuff in our Definitely. in our show. I was I when I first signed on to the project i didn't think of it as being that scary which yeah. sounds ridiculous okay that makes yeah. me feel better because i was like i missed me something too. big <laughs> um but it definitely it progresses as you get as as sasha gets um deeper and deeper into the world of crystal valley it gets scarier and scarier what was the last thing that you guys each binged on netflix i definitely just have always watched gossip girl mm -hmm. great acting it's a good binge mm -hmm. 
Else? Queer Eye. Yes. Queer Eye oh, yes. over Queer and eye. over again. I was walking around somewhere and I had like the, you know, the front of my shirt tucked in. And some, and oh, the French tuck? The yeah. French. And I was like, oh, damn. I love him so much. So that was the most recent thing. I am really excited to binge, and I have not yet binged, um, the second season of Money Heist. Or the third season, rather, of Money oh. Heist. I'm stoked for that. that. It's amazing. Nice. Um, but I also just binged Queer Eye, and I also yeah. re-binged Ozark, which is so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, definitely. Mm-hmm. We, and we like the Great British Bacon. Oh, oh we, we love the it. Great British Bacon. <laughs> we, we I mean, who does Because we always get, like, especially <laughs> yeah. when we are in New Mexico, sometimes oh we'd, like, Ooh, get we'd home at weird together. times, we kind of scared, you know? And it's, like, yeah. nothing is better and more comforting than that. Uh, thank yeah. you guys so much. Uh, Chambers, season one drops all ten episodes yes. on April 26th. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs>